It is Friday afternoon, July 26, 2013, and looking along Highway 922 to Dubuque, Saskatchewan. There's an old veteran over there, false front. I wonder if it came from the town site. And the Memorial Hall in the southeast corner of town. And here we are. Looking westward along Railway Avenue, named in honor of the Canadian Pacific Railway, which ran what it called its Pheasant Hills branch through here in 1902-03. Built a standard number two station in the latter year, which was sold off in 1966. It was at mile 100.3 from Verdun, Manitoba on the Newdorf sub. And here's Bernier Street, looking north, the main drag. Oh, it's got a business. Post office was opened in Dubuque on August the 1st, 1904. Same year that the school district was created. Not sure when the post office closed, but it is. I'm looking eastward along Railway Avenue. The elevators would have stood right along and through here. There was three by 1911, the Canadian Elevator Company the James Richardson and Sons Company and the Leach Brothers Flour Mills. In 1925, the Saskatchewan Wheat Pool built number 19, which was the last elevator standing here, closed in 1998. The rail line itself was torn up in the early 2000s. And here's the co-op. Doesn't look like it's doing too good. There's the remainder of the post office the super boxes and here's the cenotaph right in the heart of town is that the old school bell probably Dubuque was named after Sir Joseph Dubuque, who back in the 1870s, 1880s, was an MLA of the Northwest Territorial Council, or a councillor, I guess. And yeah, somebody's swinging in the sun this afternoon. Until the Tuesday afternoon, June 11th, 2013, the Bernier Street Hotel, which stood right where that barren patch of soil is, was the last viable business in the village of Dubuque. Fire. And here's the village office, was incorporated. Was Dubuque, May 26, 1905. In that year, there was a doctor here, a lumber yard, livery barn, harness maker, hotel, three stores, a meat market. By 1907, there was a skating rink, beautiful French style roof on that house. Come 1910, the Crown Northern Bank had moved to town and the Dubuque Enterprise was first published. But poor Dubuque, caught between Esther Hazy 25k to the east and Melville 25 miles to the northwest, just sort of perished. School is closed, the kids go to Esther Hazy now at school. Dubuque sits on a huge mound of undifferentiated glacial till, not bad farmland in some places, bridged in others, old veteran of the fields. In 1882, Canadian Pacific ran its main line through Mooseman and Broadview, maybe 40 miles south of us here, and settlers of British stock began came, coming into the area, followed by Germans, Scandinavians, Hungarians over the years, all made easier by the completion of the Pheasant Hills branch, 1905 or 6. Got some industry going on in the week today. Better leave them to it. A fine collection. 
peak population is 250 in 1931 or thereabouts. Up from 55 in 2006, it was 70 in 2011. And there's the municipal waterworks. Oh, not swinging in the playground anymore. Saskatchewan. 